Hey guys, this is Ryder with Ryder's Aquariums. I wanted to bring you a quick uh, video here today. I just got in some more of these marbled limpet nearite snails I've been talking about that are exceedingly rare in the hobby. And this guy that I put in is doing push-ups on this slate and he's sticking his eyes out like he's like a googly toy that you squeeze and his eyes bulge. <laughs> I've never seen a snail do this. He's the only one in the tank that got put in that's doing this right now. And I, I just thought it, it was funny to share. Um, aside from the fact that I, I really want you guys to check this out. Um, you can see there a uh, batch of some other ones. Um, coolest thing about the snail, like, like I kind of mentioned in the previous video, is they look like half of an oyster or a clamshell, like cut in half. They can lock their shells down with so much pressure that it's basically impenetrable. Um, they're, they're put into tanks that normally cannot handle or hold invertebrates of any kind, uh, especially of that size, like uh, North American cichlids, um, a lot of predator tanks, uh, puffer tanks, things like that. Um, their, their shell ability to, to use that much force to make themselves locked down like that they can actually survive in those tanks which is just crazy um i am going to be trying in a future project to take these guys and add them to a brackish water tank in an attempt to breed them and from my knowledge of what i've read on the internet and done some research and contacted a couple people I would be one of only four people in the United States that, that would be breeding these for sale if I can successfully get them into that brackish tank um, and, and get some breeding going. But I thought you guys would like to check this out. This guy's hilarious. Um, uh, leave a comment. Um, please subscribe if you can. Hopefully I can I can bring you guys some more videos consistently. And hopefully I can show you some more rare stuff like this because that's honestly my specialty and that's my passion is to have things that people don't normally get to see, people don't normally get to have. And I hope you guys enjoy seeing them. Uh, this is Ryder. Thank you guys. I'll talk to you soon.